um, you know, just couldn't be happier. And um, like AJ said, bring that first championship to the city. Jake, congratulations. How exciting is this for you personally and professionally? And can you share some of the emotions that you've felt over the last 24, 48 hours? Yeah, um, pretty crazy. Uh, you know, I think if you'd asked me when I was younger, or even shoot two or three years ago, that I'd be sitting up here talking about this, probably wouldn't have said yes. Um, but to be up here is definitely surreal. Um, but to call San Diego home for the next seven years, so eight years technically, um, is pretty special. You've been a part of a really special period and been a big contributor to a special period in Padres baseball. How important was it for you, since you're contributing the next you know, seven years of your productive years to an organization that was going to continue to be able to provide that? And how influential were some of the other big contracts that you've seen some of your teammates make in terms of making this decision? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think if you look at the core group of guys, and a lot of them are sitting in here, and hopefully there's some more to come to keep us all together. Um, but I don't think you'd ask for a better group to stay together for a long period of time. Uh, it's a pretty special organization and a special group of guys, and I think it's going to be a fun ride. Jake, as you watched the things happen over the last uh, couple months or several months, did you wonder if there was going to be money left for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's just the dedication, obviously, from Peter and his family um, to put us in the best position to win. Um, and along with AJ and, and his group, uh, I think things are looking really good in San Diego. AJ, can you speak to why this makes sense, the structure of this deal? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know, Jake's one of the best players in the league. He's, uh, he's a guy for us that um, there's just a lot of belief and faith in, in you know, with, with, you know with, with any player. When you give somebody you know, an extension, you give somebody, uh, you commit to, to, to one of your players for a number of years, you're really betting on the person, and I think for all of us, um, you know, Josh, myself, Bob, when we sit down and have those conversations, Nick Ennis put a lot of work into this contract. I think all of us, when we sit down and we're trying to evaluate J.K., his commitment, his uh, his his want to be better, his want to be the best. Uh, I think we're all we all feel really really comfortable that you know whether it was you know three, four, five, six, seven, ten years that Jake is, is going to do everything in his power to to be the best player that he can be, and you know, do everything he can to help the Padres win. So those are those are some of the easier type decisions you have to make when, when you're betting on somebody uh, with the makeup that Jake has. Is this the kind of deal that can help you guys kind of stabilize things down the road, leave room for things to go happen? I mean, again, like you, you need a lot of great players if you're going to win baseball games. Um, and, and Jake, you know, he's, he's a great player. And I think from, from our standpoint, you know, also the versatility that he provides Bob. You know, I think whether it's playing second base, shortstop in a pinch, like I mentioned, you know, go over to first base, hit anywhere in the lineup, uh, just a winning player. And I think for that reason, when we sat down, we wanted to make sure he was here for uh, hopefully the rest of his career, honestly. You grinded for a lot of years before getting this opportunity and then earning that starting spot. Can you speak to how meaningful this is in, t in perspective to that, just what some of those years were like and if you ever thought that you'd kind of get to this point? Yeah, um, I think looking back on the years I was in the minors with Tampa, um, kind of trying to find myself, who I was as a player, becoming a two-way player, getting traded here as a two-way player, um, and not really knowing my path and my future with the team um, is definitely pretty crazy. I can speak to the two-way player thing. We acquired him. You know, like we actually did talk about like him pitching. But I think Nelson could tell you here. He's in the stand. You know, over here, Nelson. And as I think when Nelly was going back and forth between AAA and the and the big leagues at that time, I like as a super scout, I, I talked to Nelly about you ever think about pitching. And uh, 450 home runs later, he he likes to remind me of that. So, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. So Jake, we never quite got to that point, but uh, we definitely we definitely thought about it when we acquired him as a nice fallback plan. So, Jake, in your mind, when did this become a a possibility, and how recently did it become like a reality that you wanted to tie your long term future here and stay here? Yeah, um, I think in reality over the last month, um, but I think ever since the first day I showed up here, I kind of with the group of guys we had and kind of seeing how the future was going. Um, definitely was obviously extremely appealing to me to call this home for a long time. And AJ, can you kind of speak to how this all came about for you guys? 
Yeah, I mean, again, like we, we, we constantly are sitting down and talking about a, you know, short-term plan, a long-term plan. I think Jake fit into both of our conversations. So he's sat down with, uh, you know, with Peter and, and you know, Nick and Josh and, and some of the crew as we, as we talked about, you know, what our team looks like over the next few years. Um, you know, we just we wanted to make sure that Jake was a part of it. So, you know, sat down and, and, and mainly Nick had a, a conversation with Matt Ricotta um, with CAA and just started those the, those conversations here really over the last you know three or four weeks as we got into spring training and hoping to try to get something done by opening day i think we, we beat it by maybe a few minutes maybe i don't know i, I think uh, but, but but we were we were really happy to get something done beat it by a few minutes meaning the morning of opening day is it that was right right around that time that's kind of when it looked like we were going to be able to, to get something done yeah you're getting pretty accustomed to these long-term contract press conferences uh what does that kind of say about the organization's commitment and the potential for further ones yeah i think again i think speaks to you know to to peter eric uh, myself you know it takes you know first you need a lot of a lot of people with ability and then uh then you need stability and you know i think we want to you know again like as, as you sit down as a padre fan to know that hey over the course of the next uh, of the next decade you know the players that we believe a lot in that we think are, are championship level players and people they're going to be here um, they're going to be people that, you know, when you come to come to see games, that and your kids come to see games, that they're, uh, you know, they can be excited about it. And it's not a situation where, hey, you come in year to year, you know, you're not sure who's in that, who's, you know, who's on the field, who's in your lineup. Uh, it's really hard to find like elite level players and elite level people, and when you get them, um, to have, you know, I think uh, again philosophically from from Peter, from Eric, from the group, like, hey, we want to have make sure that people feel welcome here and they want to be here for a long time. Uh, we just think that's that's going to help us win a lot of games here going forward and build something that our fans know is uh, is, is sustainable. So, Jake, you kind of made the roster as sort of the 26 man in 2020. Uh, that first first start, you made a first base. What do you remember thinking that day? What that might lead to for your career? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I think I pinch ran in the second or third game, and then started right after that. Um, didn't even have the glove for the position I was going to play. Um, so yeah, that was not knowing then and kind of where I've paved my path now, uh, definitely is pretty crazy. Asia, how do you envision using Jake's versatility, you know, positionally, um, you know, not only this year, but down the road with them locked up? Yeah, I mean, I think those are, those will be conversations that, uh, that we'll have, uh, you know, year in, year out with our baseball ops group, um, you know, with Bob and his staff. Um, but I think again, like you know, the ability for Jake to, to, to move around the field, play different spots. Um, you know, I think that's that's a big part of it. He's an athlete, and you know, he, he works really hard at his craft. So I think from that standpoint, again, he, he's a guy that can can move around the field. And I think uh, every year, sit down with Bob and what's needed to, to help our team win. You know, we'll ask that of Jake, sit down with him, and uh, know that he's able to do it.